This week, it's about a vision of parenthood. <laughs> or how to parent with insight. It's all about vision care and eye health. <laughs> Brought to you by Baby Bands, the ultimate in UV protection for children, Baby Bands. Gotta take care of the peekaboo, Dad! You know, Daddy Brad, right after my kids were born, their eyes sort of freaked me out because they had these kind of newborn, like, googly eyes. They would go kind of wall-eyed sometimes. <laughs> That's because newborn eyes aren't fully developed. They can only focus about 8 to 14 inches away from their face, which makes sense because that's how far away their mom's face is when they're breastfeeding. Right, but they can recognize faces almost from the moment they're born, which means it's important for dad to get in there too and get close, right, you know, in that range with the baby so you can bond as well. It might scare the baby at first if you're Daddy Brad, but you gotta, you gotta do it. By four to six months, they can focus and also they can track movement, and they've also started to develop color and depth perception. That's true, and they, they freak me out a little bit less because they're less googly. Anyway, did you know, Daddy Brad, that vision problems is the number four disability among children in the United States of America? Yeah, and you know what's even more discouraging? Only 21% of the preschool-aged children in the U.S. actually have a vision screening, and only 14% of those get a proper eye exam. So when should parents get an eye exam for their kids? The American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Association of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus all recommend that your first normal preschool eye exam is around age three to three and a half. And that's an important exam because you can get a subjective vision on a child at that age. Between five months and age three is uh, a normal period where the eyes should all be straight. There's no delayed development. Everything should be normal. If there's anything suspected they should see a pediatric ophthalmologist immediately. Our assessments of visual acuity in normal infants is objective and we use a system called fixation patterns where we study the motility or the uh, the balance of the eyes based on how they fixate on targets. These targets that you see in my office, these puppet shows, movies, uh, and we do tests and if the eyes are straight that's fine. At a preschool eye exam at age three they can read subjectively and that's the first time they can tell you what I can see. Now if for instance we find a problem at that age we can patch for lazy eye or amblyopia. The visual system is plastic and it can come and go up to age six but then there's a time frame in humans where the maturation process is matured and that's somewhere between six and nine. So we still treat infants but after nine we don't really try to do anything because we know the visual system is mature at that point. And let's hear it for LA Laker Derek Fisher for bringing attention to the condition known as retinoblastoma. Hey, if you want some information on free eye checks and vision screening, go to the website infantc.org. That's infant, S-E-E, -E, infantc.org. They've got doctors nationwide participating in this program. Hey, but there's one more important thing you can do to protect your child's vision. You know, you get the majority of your sun exposure when you're a kid, so the big bright sunshine can really wreak havoc on your old peepers. That's very true, and there's a whole laundry list of eye problems that have been associated with UV exposure, including cataracts and macular degeneration. That's why you should treat wearing sunglasses just like you do sunscreen. Put them on when your kids go outdoors. You too. That's why we love these baby bands. Uh, they've got this great strap, makes it really easy to keep these on. Uh, your child's head. They come in a wide variety of, of uh, colors here and also sizes. These are the baby bands, but there's also kids bands for your toddler and these really funky retro kid bands. We really like these things. If you keep them clean, your kids are going to wear these things automatically. You're wearing those, aren't you? Yeah. You put them on, didn't you? Yeah, they look good. You couldn't, couldn't resist that. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not going to look at you. Well, that's all for us here this week in the lab. We got a great giveaway this week. This week we're giving away five of these gift packs from Baby Bands. And here you got the Baby Band sunglasses, the hat, also some sunscreen, this great gift pack, five of these. All you have to do to get registered is go to dadlabs.com, join the community, and upload a photo of your kiddo playing out in the sunshine, hopefully with a little bit of sun protection on. See you next week at dadlabs.com. Why don't you ever wear sunglasses? Makes me feel like I'm hiding. What are you hiding? I like to let people look into my eyes deeply. Oh, don't. Deeply. Don't, don't look, look at him. Into my don't eyes. look at him. It'll suck the look intelligence right from your brain. My eyes.